Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to Aquilo, the cold planet in our Factorio Space Age playthrough. We are kind of learning what we're doing. Uh, we've at least got ice platforms going. As long as we've got nuclear fuel cells, we have power. Um, I'm going to let this go a little longer, and soon we'll expand to the four nuclear uh, doodads here. And then I think we want... I can do it like this. Um, oh, nope, that needed to be there. Yeah, so we need these guys to have the the request for fuel cells. And then I'll just put these back in. The bots can go do that. And then I need to restrict you guys. No. Sorry, we need a combinator. Which is somewhere in my inventory. Decider, combinator. Alright. this and so you measure temperature T and fuel cell Ooh, I'm excited for fusion power so we've got zero of that and temperature is less than let's say at 750 we pop in pop in a new doodad you guys need to enable only if green Greater than zero. Also, if anyone's ever wondered, why do I use that signal? Oh, we're not reading fuel and temperature. That might be helpful. Um, I just think, you know, the green, green light to go, it just makes a lot of sense. So that's why I always use it. Um, So, we'll see if that temperature is hot enough. I don't know, because I know we lose, you know, you can see we lose temperature as we, oh yeah, that should be more than hot enough still. Um, so we should be okay. Wow, we're gonna have to like heat the whole pipeline. That's so crazy. Wow, 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 okay. Uh, let me drop down more of those things. I feel like I'm going to need a lot of chem plants. We'll do some more fuel cells. If I need anything else yet. Just make sure we've got enough of all that. Oh, and the uncommon of those. And I don't think we need anything else yet. So let's go send it back to go get more concrete. And then, is concrete in our requests? It, it is right here. Okay, let's go with 300 of that. And we'll do 300 of this ice platform. Okay, so then... Yeah, because basically I want to fill in this area. We need a lot more ice platform. So let's now... We should have plenty of power now. I can do some speed modules here. There we go. Crafting speed of 20 is a little better. And now we are making way too much ice. So then what's the what's the method here? So the method is method is something like this and then this or maybe this and then the heat pipe 
can run along through here. Um... And then we can actually have proper inserting speeds. Um, now that totally messes with this, but... Man, it really is crazy how, how much different it is when basically everything needs a buddy, a heat pipe buddy. Everything needs a heat pipe, buddy. And their radius is one, you know, like the heat radius is tiny. Um, okay, I should really, here. We should move this to the part where I don't care about where things are. All right, that's a little, a little better. So let's, let's make this nicer. I do want the concrete, though. We've got plenty of concrete now. So then, let's figure out a little bit of a better method. So this should be tileable. Like so. I wish these were pass-throughs, like it could go in this one and come out that one. Um, I'm probably better off. Excuse me. <laughs> sneeze, sneeze. Okay. I think doing this. Billion undergrounds. Can I deconstruct the ice and go back to having water? You can, okay. For the stuff you've built, at least. Um, okay, where did I don't know where the offshore pump went. And now middle clicking doesn't grab offshore pumps. It would be kind of weird, or uh, kind of cool if you middle clicked again. I say middle click like that's everyone. That's not the default. Q for pipette. If you pipette on water, it'd be cool if you pipette it again if it would grab um, the, the offshore pump. Okay, that actually works perfect right there. Okay, so then that's extendable. And then the reason I like this is that also gives me uh, a heated beacon. Not that these need a beacon, by the way. These are already super fast, but it's just possible. And then, gosh, this is crazy. And then we've got this all the way out here. Is there a better way to do this, or is this probably it? Just got this crazy pipeline. Guess I can do it like that. That seems to work. And then I want to say I can just turn this around to make the ice platform. Except with uh, assembling machines. Except not that kind of assembling machine. This kind of assembling machine. Epic assembling machines. 
So, because now I can just come from there. Continuing with this kind of model. Heat everything. Um, need this along. Heat those buildings. these real, real fast. Oh no, the output. Ah! I forgot about the output. Well. Well now. You are right, I'm missing that insert. But I'm also missing the output. Um... What's the easiest way to do this? I actually think the easiest way might be... Yeah, Bob's inserters would be busted on Aquilo. That's the sort of thing where I... You know, it, it's interesting. You have had so many conversations, especially on the podcast, about like... Are Bob's inserters cheaty? And I think in a place like Aqualo, it would be like more than normal. You know, it's like the, the different challenges here would make adjustable inserters so much more powerful. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is this. And that way, um, I can output back onto the same belt. And then we can filter. Move that over. And then those should be good to go. Okay. Cool. Hey, Darkness, thanks for the follow. All right, so that should be a bit faster on for here. Actually, the ammonia, that's a problem now. Um, we need to get rid of the ammonia. You've been binging the content since Space Age release? Hey, well, I'm glad you've been enjoying the content. Thanks for the, the kind words. Oh, uh, wait, we need the ice to... I knew we were forgetting something. Oh, goodness. Um, it's so crazy, these little spaghetti things that, you know... Because spaghetti, like, you can't spaghetti, right? You know, because everything has to be accompanied by a heat pipe. So you kind of have this, like, grid of heat pipes almost that you have to build within. So let's... We gonna do this because what I'd like maybe I should just keep going along the same line honestly that's probably the way to do it um, and just make the water up well but I want to prioritize it so so maybe instead it's also funny because like this is gonna get in the way uh, so I'm gonna have to move the nuclear stuff here in a minute Okay, yeah, go go back to stream 17. Don't don't spoil yourself, but enjoy. Um, so maybe we make the water first. No, I kind of have the want the water plant to be a separate separate gig. So basically what I want is and of course it's on the wrong side of the belt for this to work. I guess we'll just go that way then. We'll let we will let the the side of the belt command what we do here. Oh, but then it's still on the wrong side of the belt for that to put back onto it. Um, so 
me, because, like, that actually works. Um... could do it like that if we could get heat to all of that, but we can't. Ah! Mmm, no, that'll break when ice backs up. Um, I guess we just filter right ice. There we go. And we need that belt, otherwise it does the wrong thing. Um, and now we've got ice prioritized over here. Make water. So many weird things going on. I love it. This is so cool. My brain is, feels like Gleba where it's like, I have no idea what I'm doing and I like it. Okay, so if we're gonna ice melt, we're gonna need to grab off the belt. Which again, it's like, the only way to do this is either to space the buildings out so we can come from both sides, or to use undergrounds like this, and then the heat comes in the middle. I think that's my preference. Um, Oh, and then we can even, if we do it that way, we can bring the heat pipe through, and then we don't have to have two lines of heat pipes, so that's kind of nice, but then it, they're spaced out more, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, that allows for... That doesn't look anything. Um, but then that's going to be... <laughs> so funny. At what rate does everything consume heat? Uh, that's the fun part. It doesn't tell you. So, I saw someone post on Reddit, um, what is it, shift control F, I wonder if it's in here somewhere. Someone posted on Reddit the, like, how much, how many kilowatts of heat you actually need per building. It's probably somewhere in here, I would assume. Hmm. But maybe not. I don't even know what it would ca be called. Heat. Heating energy. There it is. So I assume that's the number that it steals from the heat pipe. But anyway, I need that water to get back over there. Pretty, pretty. Ah, oh, of course that's too close. Um. I guess right here is good, because it's next to heat pipes. Did I run out of concrete already? Really? Oh, I forgot to send it down. I swear I did that, but maybe I didn't. Um, maybe I didn't. Alright. Back to Nevis, and then it'll come back with more concrete. The building consumes heat while it's running, as far as I know. I don't think they consume heat just by sitting there, even though your intuition would say it should, just because that's how cold in real life works, you know? But I guess it's like, you can just imagine all the heat is smart, where it's like, well, it's not going to heat the thing if it's not running anyway. So if we think about it like that, I guess it works. Um, Yeah, what it what's going on? Am I, am I missing something? Do we not have any it wanna know something's wrong here. That heat pipe should be getting built by my bots, and it's not. I don't know what 
Oh, ha! I disabled personal robo ports when I was trying to remember the hotkey for this. Shift control F. I must have hit Alt F while I was doing that, and that screwed it up. That's funny. Um, I was like, what is going on here? Something feels off. It was indeed off. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's do that. I, I screwed something up. Why are these not running anymore? Uh, because we... Well, the ammonia is not even lined up. Problem number one. Problem number two. Because we have too much ammonia. I'll handle that here in a moment. Yeah, there's that. So 150 water, these only need 13 apiece, so that's okay, that's fine. So we're back to powering things, that's good. I think I want to space this a little further away when I can. Um, and then, or er, not stack size filter. Okay, so then the ammonia now is just, yeah, again, we're having the issue of, like, we have to spend it. So we'll spend it on solid fuel. So then I need some sort of, if I have too much, we pump it into some solid fuel makers. Maybe we'll be here. And we'll go up a little higher, space it out. Uh, I don't know how fast they are, but probably fast enough. And then we'll need crude oil and ammonia. I don't even know if the new way of making uh, these types of blueprints is even going to work. If we were to do that, and then like this. Can heat pipes heat all of that? I actually can. Weirdly enough. Wait, where can they? Because that would look like... up with a piece we can't heat. Doing it that way. Alright. So we'll go back to the the old classic of this and then this. Particularly annoying, isn't it? There's gotta be an easier way to do this. Uh, let's see. So... If I just wanted to connect the ammonia across, that's not gonna work, because then that one can't be heated. If I change it to... I mean, maybe I can do one... Maybe I still do the flippy thing, because then at least every... 
I can do that. And then these two can be spaced out. Um, does that work if I tile it? No, because then I still can't heat this guy. Interesting. It doesn't tile. There's a lot of ways I could fix it. You know, I could space out the buildings by one. I could... But I think, I think for now, I'll just go with the simple... Simple version. Which is... A straight line of heat. That can get to the building as well. And then these will be joined by a line across this way for the ammonia. And then these will be joined and we'll just need a pipe on the outside to heat the crude oil. It's fine. It's fine. It's a little, a little inefficient. It's maybe a lot inefficient, but it'll work. Um, then that, and then the solid fuel, and then this. Yeah, exactly. I, I wonder, Matt, the same thing. Like, clearly they designed it this way. Like, they could have easily made it so that the heat, uh, the heat pipes, uh, have a radius of two, like two heating squares. Right, and that would have made this a lot, uh, help me, please. Uh, that would have made this like a lot easier to manage, you know, the, the heat pipe stuff, but they didn't do that. And so it's definitely an intentional decision to make the heating pipes only heat one square. You can tell that they wanted, they wanted things to be very intricate. And, and I like it, it kind of, is reminiscent of why I like Factorissimo. It it kind of makes every build feel like you're really trying to optimize something. Um, more so than the normal game. So, I like that. Uh, what did I do here? I don't actually know. I guess that doesn't save me any thing. That one already has heat. Uh, I think we're all heated now. Oh, I need to switch over to the uncommons, baby. We got, we got uncommon substations now. Mm-mm, good. <laughs> they don't look that much different, but it's an extra tile. And that little extra tile will, will certainly help more often than, than you'd think. Um, oh, you know, I forgot to take a screenshot uh, in the last episode for the for the thumbnail. I should probably do that. Let me take a screenshot of a frosty frosty surface with a lone heat pipe through the middle. Yeah, that, that's a good that's a good screenshot. All right, can't can't forget good thumbnails. All right, so anyway, uh, so now we're going to move the whole nuclear setup, which means we're going to sacrifice a lot of our heat. Wow, these things get cold when you build a bunch of new heat pipes. It'll help when we have four of them running. Um, okay, so it's waiting for some more uranium fuel cells. By the way... Uh, what we can do eventually is set up nuclear fuel reprocessing and when you do a lot of productivity in th in this I think this step can have productivity and then the cover X can have productivity and when you do both of those you end up getting back a lot of the fuel cells you burn because and then you obviously put productivity in making the fuel cells again so ugh. What's that do? So five depleted cells gets you three uranium. Three uranium gets you one, one bright rock, and one bright rock gets you ten back. 
and you only used 15 to make it, right? Am I am I crazy? No, you, you wait. Five gets you three. Three gets you one. And one gets you ten. Oh, and nineteen. <laughs> right, I kind of forgot about the dark, the not so bright rock cost of that. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. So then we need nineteen of this. Oh, that's going to be fancy math. So nineteen is basically thirty cells. Maybe 32 cells. And then another, so like, we need like 37 cells. Gets me enough for one recipe. But you have one step of productivity, two steps of productivity. Three steps of productivity for that one in particular, but that's not the main cost anyway. So it's really like two steps of productivity so you go from like 37 down to 10. So you, even without productivity, you're already reclaiming about a fourth of your fuel cells just by running Covrex with no productivity. But then with productivity modules, you're getting close to one to one because productivity is close to 100% even without legendary. With just the epics, you're at like 80% productivity. Can this recipe use productivity? I guess is the question. Oh, these only hold three modules. So it's a little less than, no, two modules. Okay, never mind. But still, you're probably getting half of your fuel back already if you just use epic prod threes in, in those two steps. Maybe more. I could do the, the full math, but I won't. Uh, okay, so nothing's running. I broke my power. Uh, we need it, we need to fix some things here. What's going on? Uh, we don't have power. We don't have fuel cells in this. Why not? What did I do? Oh, I just never requested uh, the fuel. So that's part of it. Um, what am I doing? How much of this stuff do I have? I only have 100. No, it's just telling me stack size. OK. Because what I'd like to do is move Move this forwards a bit. Okay. So now Inserters. Same condition. Uh, I copied it. They should have the same condition. And that should be outputting the green signal. And those just have low power. Okay. Okay, I guess I don't need these because the, the reactors themselves carry power through themselves. So that should work. Uh, as far as bringing this along, do that. Now we have water. This will make sure that's all heated. Okay, and I will just put two cells in everything. That should get us a lot more heat. 600 megawatts should heat things back up pretty quick. And that up. That'll store some water. I should probably store water closer to the source rather than the usage area. Let's just do this. Okay, so once we heat back up, we should be okay. 
past 500. Well, once these go past 500, which is a bit later than that. Uh, do I need to extract used up fuel? Yes, I always forget about that. Thank you. back to powering things properly. And then... Why don't we grab... This is... This is like, uh... Blade Runner kind of music. I'm feeling Blade Runner vibes. Wait, where did my... Uncommon substation. I thought I put it on the little doodad. Alright, what am I missing? The tiles. And those tiles. Ugh, still have too much ammonia because we never started up this whole section. We're, we're almost there. Hey, fakey fail. We'll get your your name in concrete here in a minute. Okay, so the oil. And I just realized we never connected to anything. should be oil. Wait, what did I... Uh, I, I forgot about the undergrounds. I thought I could do heat from the outside, but it has to be heat from the inside so that we can poke into the undergrounds there. And you gotta connect to the reactors here. Okay, so there's that. And then, so that should be oil. There we go. So oil's in. And now ammonia. I guess we're lucky that it just happens to work. Okay, so there's solid fuel. And, and this is where we want to measure the amount of ammonia we have in some sort of tank. Um, like this guy. So then this guy, if ammonia is greater than 20k, then we just go ahead and make rocket fuel, sorry, solid fuel out of it. Um, turn those around, and then we're going to take heating towers. I may need to use recyclers, because I feel like we might need a lot of heating towers to, to take care of all this. There are heating towers. Right there. Um... I feel like something like this can work. And then the heat. I guess I actually don't need that second one. Okay, what am I missing? More of, more of that. Um, the reason is not enough ice.
me all the ice, please. Can these do prod? No, okay. Alright, we'll get there. There we go. Now things are happening. Alright, let's start the heat up here. There we go, thaw things out. And then... Treating ammonia like a limited resource. I mean, it technically is. It's the solution that's the, the but I have to, I have to craft it. Basically, I just want to make sure we're always um, having enough ammonia for our ice platforms before we burn through it. Because I wouldn't want to burn through it and then not have enough to make ice platforms. I'm just prioritizing it. Prioritizing is not the same as treating it like a limited resource. Even an unlimited amount of something, you might still want to make sure you're using all of it. You know, you're maximizing production of platform before you're using it for other things. Anyway, I don't know. This is probably not going to burn through anywhere near enough solid fuel. So we might need uh, some recyclers going on here. But this is free power. So of course we should connect to the same heat network and then that'll send heat back through. I, I don't know, I don't remember how many megawatts these things can carry. I also know that the, the longer they are, like lengthwise, the more you lose, uh, basically, you don't lose throughput, but you lose maximum temperature. But as long as the distance from here to get to the, the things, you know, these will go up to a thousand and that could still get 500 degrees out to here, I think. I think it's like one or two degrees per tile that you can lose. And the throughput of one is, I think it's like hundreds and hundreds of, it might be even a gigawatt, I'm not sure. That's where you kind of need to do some research. Wait, one, two, three, four, oops. Alright, fakey. We're getting your little name in game here. Let's see. K. E. Y. Whoop. Bam. I like the snow concrete. It's cool. Very cool. Alright, so we have some semblance of a base running. Right? So we've got production. Now, infinite production of ice platforms. We've got lots of power from nuclear. Um, we're making use of neighbor bonuses pretty well here. I need some storage chests for uh, bots to grab the fuel cells. And we are producing solid fuel to get rid of ammonia. And we are prioritizing water from ice. So it should back up properly. So the reason I kind of want to be careful about things, at least for right now, until I've gotten power on this planet. You know, right now we are relying on fuel cells from the other planet. So maybe I should work on reprocessing then. Which makes me wonder... Should I... Let me send down the concrete and more heat pipes. I feel like I'm using a lot of uh, undergrounds too, so let me send another hundred of those. But anyway, you go back to you go back to Navis, and I'm wondering if I should send some centrifuges for the reprocessing of fuel. How many will I need? Factoriopedia this. So maybe I will need to do some math. So if I'm reprocessing, these have a crafting speed of one. I could maybe get some uncommons pretty, pretty easily. Um, 
So each fuel cell lasts 200 seconds. So let's say I'm burning through all of them. So I need one fuel cell per minute, basically. Um, yeah, I might be intending to keep nuclear. That's kind of what we're looking into right now. So if I'm burning, well, let's just start with, with this. This is a 60 second crafting time. So one of these will run fast enough by itself because I'm not going to be depleting five cells per minute. And then, obviously, one of these running is plenty fast enough because that's a one minute recipe. And then this is more than fast enough. So I, I don't need any quality. I just need to send some centrifuges up. That's all. Um, we're reprocessing. I don't know how many are on the planet, but I certainly don't need 50. And we already have the... Oh, you can only send one at a time. Okay. I'll just take five then. Uh, on navies, we do have... Yeah, I've got 21 ready to go. Can a recycler eat used fuel? I think so. I, I guess I'm not 100% on that. Wow, so these are actually, uh, these are output rate limited right now. Need higher quality, higher quality stack inserters. Um, that's funny. Oh well. It certainly is fast enough. We are getting... We're now holding steady at one per second. So yeah, one landfill per second in a C block environment has historically been plenty. Oh, and it does look like we are burning through our ammonia. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, we probably should get all of this hooked up just because we can. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot right here. I'm gonna do something like this, so then I can just connect it all with one. And then this goes to here, this goes to here, this goes to here. All right, and then we come down. Okay, I also am going to real quick grab an upgrade planner for substations to uncommon substation, and I just want to get that done. And then I can just forget that regular substations ever exist. Did I see what quality does for pump jacks? Uh, yeah, I, I do know. I really... I really need uncommon bots. This is where having higher quality bots actually matters. It doesn't matter as much on the other planets, but when they run out five times as fast, that's kind of a big deal. But yeah, higher quality pump jacks uh, reduces the resource drain as well as... Oh, it doesn't go faster. I thought it did both. But there you go. Makes your oil last that much longer. And I can speed module this for great, great profit. Though, to be honest, do I really need to? Like, feels like I can save some power, I guess, if I do it like that. And get a lot more speed. Someday I might use beacons and stuff on this, but I certainly don't need that now. Um, I just realized this guy got forgotten. 
It's the easiest way to bring you into the mix here. Alright. So there's all the pump jacks running. I can make whatever I want from oil. Aquilo is cool. Digging it so far. Yeah, it's interesting. We are getting some free heat, but that's probably nowhere near enough. But it's helping. And once we've backed up on ice platform, which, I mean, why not? I'll just let the chest fill up. I think a full chest is enough, but I don't know if I need more than that. Um, okay, so what's going on here? We're just taking a minute to re restock everything, but we'll be good to go, looks like. All right, so now I can think about, like, progressing. You know, we got, we got the, the foundation is here now for power and the basic loop of expanding. I am still relying on concrete from the outer the outer world, but that's okay. I mean, there's really no way to make concrete here anyway, because that requires stone. And the only way you can get stone is on other planets. So the only question is, do you get more concrete by bringing concrete, or do you get more concrete by bringing stone and making it here? Uh, and the answer to that is... Uh, and you'd need to bring iron. You could get that from space, but, you know. Uh, let's see. Stone brick would be cheaper to bring, I think. Stone stacks to 50. Stone brick stacks to 100. Yeah, yeah. So I think you would send stone brick. If you were trying to be rocket efficient, you would send stone brick to Aquilo and make the concrete on the surface. Because you get 10 concrete from every 5 stone brick, and the stone brick is 5 times as dense in a rocket. It's not any denser in the inventory, but it's still twice as dense as concrete because you make 2 per. So, but yeah, then you have to heat all the buildings making the concrete, and then you have to make the... It's, it doesn't seem worth it, but it, if you were going for maximum transport efficiency, you would make concrete here. But yeah, okay, let's let's think about what to do next. Let's think about lithium. So I keep doing control F to open the Factoriopedia. Um Personally, hot take, I don't know if this is even possible. Maybe I could No, I think Control F is hardbound into the game too much. But I would prefer Control F goes to the Factoriopedia rather than the map search. Because I use Factoriopedia way more often than the map search. So if I'm gonna have Control F go straight to searching somewhere. I'd rather have it open the, the Pedia, personally. All right, a little more, ah! A little more concrete going here. All right, I'm just gonna kind of, this is gonna make my bots very unhappy with me, but we're gonna concrete up and landfill a little bit around here, so I feel a bit more properly established in the base. Oh my gosh, the poor bots. Yeah, we'll let them. We'll let them earn their keep, earn their jewels. As it were. Wow. That's 1.8 thousand things to place. Yikes. I definitely will need uh, more robo ports. Oh, these are going to be frozen. I need to place these in strategic locations.
Yeah, my... You know, I was, I was worried about batteries. Little did I know that the... Robots were gonna be the death of my batteries. But it's fine. Okay, anyway, lithium... What is Factoriopedia? Is there a hotkey to just open it? I really wish Control F just opened it and went right into here. That would be really nice. Uh, anyway, lithium. No, that's not. This is the stuff, lithium brine. So we'll be getting this. This is where the holmium plates come in and the ammonia comes in. So here's another example of where I want to prioritize ammonia. You know, I, I want it to go to lithium before we make rocket fuel out of it. Um, and this is made in chemical plants. And then once we have that, we just process it. Not in foundries, worth noting. Uh, we need electric furnaces. Oh, okay, we need electric furnaces. I didn't see that coming. Um, so then I will go ahead and get some higher rarity of electric furnace going. That should work. Um, and then we'll request on the Synthu's electric furnaces. Uncommon. 50 should be fine. All right, and then we'll send down some more fuel, some more of those, some more heat pipes, all the concrete. I don't even know what else I need. Okay, right now. Wait, didn't I bring something else specifically? What did I bring back? Let me put down some modules too. What did I bring? Oh, the centrifuges, that's what it was. And I'll grab more pump jacks too. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we have the centrifuges and I can work on repurposing that sort of thing whenever I want. <laughs> yeah, Walter, regarding your earlier message, it's just easier to import concrete. I agree. I agree. Alright, so we've got lithium brine here. And I think I'm just going to do this. Where did all my personal bots? Why aren't, why aren't they doing this? Is it because I don't have concrete? Ah, it's because I don't have concrete. Alright, let me just grab it. Make things a little easier. All right, now this isn't working because of unknown reasons. Hmm. They're waiting for the concrete to be placed, but I have new bots going into my inventory that aren't then being sent back out to place the concrete. So something with the with the bot Order it. Yeah, there one went. I don't know what's up with the command queue for all that. But it'll figure itself out eventually. There we go. Alright, so there's lithium brine. Uh, this, we are going to need some speeding up. 
with beacons probably, because that's pretty slow. 1.6 per second. Like, very slow. Okay. Alright. This will all get done eventually. I think. <laughs> These poor bots. Uh, I should start making uncommon bots. Maybe on Navis and bring them. Maybe even rares. I run out of power? Wait, really? No, I'm not, I'm nowhere near out of power. Oh, you mean, you mean my, uh... My armor is out of power, yes. I did know that. Alright, so... Lithium. Where do we want to make lithium? Maybe down here. This feels like a nice open spot. Start doing base things. And it's not too far from heat. And we have our, our pump here that we can... Ammonia out. You know, I might place this manually just because I need the bots to do these other things first. I kind of wanted to just let the bots suffer, but here we are. Oh, I'm at, I'm out of concrete again. All right, All right then, keep your secrets. Maybe I'll bring two thousand. Back you go. Do we have enough concrete here? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, and the reason for that is simply I don't have enough in the chest. But we can easily speed this up. Uh, this is really what we need to speed up, I guess. Hmm. I do have the higher rarities that I can plop in there. I do have the epic modules we can plop in here. And then I have the epic beacons I can upgrade to. And that should speed this up quite a bit. talking. Yeah, we're talking. Okay. So there's the stone brick we've always wanted. And a lot more concrete. Quality rocket silos are not needed. Do they even do anything for you? I mean, crafting speed, but more crafting speed won't help me. I already They're already fast enough. They can't get any faster. If they gave you more productivity or more, um, a faster launch animation, then I might be interested. But yeah, consuming slightly less power is not a concern. Not a concern. The thing that's consuming all my power is electromagnetic plants, not, not rocket platforms. Oh wow, they're still charging? That's hilarious. <laughs> maybe maybe I need to get more than two portable fission reactors. Yeah, I need a third. Um, that's funny. But yeah, anyway, uh, so working on the lithium, we're gonna need... Let me just kind of place some things down here. So we're gonna want... The holmium. I could use logistics bots to bring the Holmium, but then that's already introducing a lot of bot reliance. And I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. So maybe I make it a little closer to the... Actually, this seems perfect. I've already got heat pipes here. So 
So we can just grab the whole... Wow, are we lucky. It just started grabbing the Holmium anyway. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, okay, now this is going to be real annoying. Oh, I was looking at that. Um, just removed it. Right in front of my face, bots. How rude. Alright, it is what I told you to do. Well, don't I need lithium to make cryoplants? Am I? I'm just presuming that. That's how all the other planets have worked. I've had to start with the other building. But I guess I should look at how I make these. Yeah, and I need refined concrete, and I need superconductors. No, I don't have cryo plants. You crazy? Um, superconductors, huh? Okay. Well, yeah, but I have to make lithium plates. I already have the lithium, the raw lithium, I guess. So I could bootstrap my way to a few. Um... But I really, this is a funny, like, I really wish it had an input on the front and the back in this case instead of, <laughs> instead of like this. Wonder. Well, let's just set up a couple for now. I don't need a lot. I don't think. We'll just set up a couple. And I'm just going to use long inserters. We got plenty of heat pipes. I do know that much. Okay, so there's that. And then this needs to be a bit schwarmer. Schwarma. Uh, no? no? Ah, we're missing... There we go. Alright, so there's lithium. Oh, that's not going to do it, is it? There we go. Um, okay, so there's lithium automated. A tomato automated. You say automato, I say automated. I knew there was a joke in there somewhere, I just had to find it. <laughs> uh, definitely need a couple beacons here. Oh god. Everything needs heat. Everything needs heat. Uh, what's the best way to do this? Yeah. Maybe we can just do it like that, and then like this. And then I don't know yet if we need productivity because we don't have enough of the other stuff or whatever, but you know, whatever. We'll just start putting some in a box. And then I never put a condition on this guy. Although, do I even want one? Like, 
I probably need lithium just as bad. No, I want I want the foundation being produced at max rate until it's full. Um, I do, in fact, want that. Okay, yeah, it, it seems that productivity will be what we need here, not speed. These are slow. Very slow. Wait, what? Why can't I? Oh, because they're not ghosted. Interesting. And I'm missing more concrete? Yes. Crap. Why are seven on the way? What? Uh, am I missing something? Why are eight on the way? Now it's only four on the way. Oh, it's probably how many... I bet bots are carrying four at a time to the rocket silo, even though I only need the one. And then it's telling me that four are on the way when really only one is on the way. Or something. That's really interesting. Oh yeah, Waskby, well, that's a good point. <laughs> saving Holmium is, is way more important than saving Lithium, so I definitely want Prod for that reason. Um, anyway, we've already got quite a bit of Lithium. So, that's working out just fine. So then, to make the plates, wasn't it just pretty simple? Like, we just straight up make them from Lithium? Make them all shiny. Where did they go? They're not in intermediate products, right? Am I missing something? I don't make. Th I'm. I'm a dummy. Sorry. I remember now. They're made in the in the in the furnace. I don't have any stone bricks either. Uh, while we're thinking about it, we should probably have stone brick so we can craft things that need stone brick. Um. Why is this not requesting anything? And neither is this one. We have spare bots, so that's not the problem. What's going on? Why are these two not being used? Oh, did it just... No, it's definitely not finished. Uh, well, I guess it is. Never mind. We're okay. We're short a few bricks. We're short three rare speeds, which might never come if we have enough epic speeds. Yeah, actually. Interesting. So I need you to change that to a, an epic order for the moment. And why are these not at 50 yet? What's going on with that? Yeah, I guess we just are just almost there. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right on that stone brick point. It probably is at exactly 500. Yeah. I figured, yeah, I was like, what? Are, are we using exactly what we're producing? But no, we just needed a little bit more. A little bit more space here. We are kind of consuming exactly what that inserter is inserting, though. That's funny. Slightly less, though. We'll be okay. We should see the swarm to grab 500 descend any moment. Yeah, as soon as that... pick up, So we're picking up about 60, so as soon as we get 560, it'll be... It'll be going.
your first Aquilo ship was solar powered? That's that's uh risky. Solar out here. I guess you still get 60%. Okay. That's a little better than I thought in space. It's just once you descend through the atmosphere, it's you get nothing. I didn't mean to click on that. This is what I meant to click on. <sighs> no, sorry. I did want to click on this, and I wanted to know, are we done yet? Almost. Once we get that stone brick, we'll be good to go. And then we shall... Well, it should be automatic to just head back to Aquila. Okay, so that being said... Now what do we do? We... Part of me wants to do this to get 50% more free power. That seems like a reasonable idea. And then I'll get more out of these. Is that enough to run the base right now? It might actually be. We're not using, we're not running anything constantly that needs like a lot of megawatts. So these, this actually might be running the base because these are staying at, at a thousand. So I, I think they are running the base. Yeah, Vulcanus, you get a ton of free stone. If stone is something you're in the market for in terms of planetary shipping. Yeah, I mean, the nuclear is great to have for when we're using more power, but at the current moment, we don't even need it, it seems. But once I start using, like, hundreds of megawatts to run crazy fast cryo plants or something, we'll be glad we have it. All right, so we're just waiting for this now to bring the electric furnaces. And... Then we will make lithium. Where is the cryo plant? Have I not unlocked it yet? Okay, we have to make our first lithium first. And then at that point, we just need the fluoroketones. And that comes from lithium, fluorine, and ammonia. Okay, so fluorine is the thing we don't have yet. Uh, we do have radar. I should probably get that going. Get scan in here. Hundreds of megawatts sounds like a good job for a fusion reactor. Yes, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Oh, never mind. There's already some up there. Fluorine is in the top left here. So we'll have to... Oh, and there's a tiny little one right here. 420. Blaze it. Um, okay, so we'll need to pump that, bring that over with a really long heating pipe. Really long, skinny heating pipe here. Is there... Like... I guess trains would be the only option to not do it this way? Is that right? Right. 
This is transit very far from home. Indeed. Indeed it is. I mean, obviously you can heat, you can make heat here, but you have to heat the pipes. So I guess bots would be the only other way, bots or trains, or bring heat the whole way to heat the belts and or pipes. You could barrel it and belt it, but belts have to be heated too. So. Yes, I do know that map search highlights resources. I was about to search for the fluorine, but then I saw it. So. Uh, yeah, but that should heat things up. You know what would be easier than this nonsense is just going around. We'll see if that's too long of a heating pipe to to get hot enough over there. I, I think it'll be fine. It only has to be like 15 degrees to stay hot or something. All right, Senthus, Senthus, send down your concrete. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your heating elements. <laughs> um, uh, where is it? There you are. Now we can smelt some lithium. Ah! Didn't mean to do that. All right, so now we can finish building all that crap. How are we doing on the, the ice platform? Oh, we're getting there. About a third of the way full. And then we'll let our personal bots do the good job here. You know what I might do next is go and set up. No. Control, shift, copy, parameterize, personal, portable, vision, reactor. Yeah. And what do those stack to? Those stack to 20. Why do they stack to 20? I do not need that many. Um, but I want to roll some rares and bring those. Yes, they are also an ingredient. I could also do better batteries. Yeah. Let me craft a couple of those, just handcraft. Um, cause I'm not using, like, the laser's pointless, right? I don't know, I don't even need those. So, I've got lots of extra, extra space going on. All right, now how hot are these? Is the heat coming? Oh, I didn't build some, there we go. Yeah, the heat is spreading. We'll see if it gets all the way there or not. I may I may have to fly some some fuel over there to heat things up. Oh, that's why I've kind of been confused. There were never any construction bots in the bases network. Okay, that explains why I was not understanding exactly what had been going on. I, mean, I definitely would like any quality to be built, not just normal. Alright, 
Heat is making it. Let's see if it keeps spreading. Gosh, I wonder how many like gigajoules of power is stored in these hot pipes. AKA like how much one time like each one of these tiles is costing me some amount of power to get it hot and it'll just be hot forever, aka wasted buffer power. I wonder how much total is in there. I'm sure someone has the number on on Google somewhere, like basically the heat what's the heat capacity of a heat pipe? There's just a number somewhere. In fact, it might even be uh it might even be on here. It probably is on here as a number that we won't understand how to convert to megajoules. Hmm. I'm actually pretty sure it's here. I seem to remember looking at this with like Bob's Angels or something because there were different tiers of heat pipes and the higher tier ones had a better uh, heat capacity, meaning each degree Celsius represented more megajoules which meant that the flow rate of heat through the heat pipes was higher at the higher tiers. So it's in here somewhere. I don't, I don't have any memory of what. It might. It might not even be. There's heating energy. That's not it. I might be looking at the wrong thing. I don't know. Whatever. Unimportant. Uh, Walter, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think these lose heat over time naturally. If things lose heat over time naturally, then that would just be hugely punishing to your base. Uh, it would be realistic, but I, I don't think that's how it works. I think things only lose heat when they run. So it's kind of like a alternate form of like electricity. You need to provide energy, and you need to provide energy. Yeah. Like, I think if you shut down, if everything was steady state, nothing was, was running. Um, well, no, actually, now that I think about it, I think things do use heat consistently. Because, like, pipes are consuming heat. So... Since pipes are consuming heat and they're not running, they don't run. They're not like buildings that run. So maybe maybe things are consuming heat constantly. Which means you need to make a lot of heat to run long pipes like this. Oh well. We have a lot of heat, so I'm not really too concerned about it. I'm just concerned if this will make it all the way there or not. And it seems like it might not. I may need to add another heating tower somewhere along that route. Then again, these aren't anywhere near 900 where I think they will get back to that eventually. A lot of it is just the equalization takes a while. Like we sucked a lot of heat out of the towers just by making all these. And then once the towers get back up to their, their normal heat, you know, then, then we'll be okay. Uh, anyway. Uh, the Synthus is here. I dropped the stuff, so I should have in this guy, we should have, yep, things to make the things. So lithium we just straight up smelt. Okay. That is pretty simple. If you're asking why I'm spacing it out a little bit, it's just because, I don't know, I've learned my lesson. Who knows what I might need to do with that space later. But something like this should work. Hey, lithium, baby! And then more prod means less holmium needed. And I probably want one of those bad boys. Put some speed modules in it. And 
And then the question becomes, what's the rate two a second? I think these can handle two a second. is done. Okay. I guess... Are those fast enough? Yeah, yeah, they're fast enough. Um, cool, cool, cool. Starting to look like proper Aqualo because every inserter is into an underground. Yeah, it really, it really is crazy how much undergroundage you need. Okay, so the cryogenic plant research is finished. Can I handcraft them? Uh, no, of course you can't. I also, crap, I meant to, I meant to grab this stuff when I was at Nalvis. Um, because we have superconductors on Nalvis. And I also can just request refined concrete. How much was it per? 40 a piece. And I have to make these on Aquilo, right? Yes, okay. Um, let's do 500. Yeah, but making a stop at Fulgora is too much work. Already got my... How many? Well, I maybe I should check. I think I have plenty of superconductors on Alvis. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. The main reason is because I'm not craft... I'm not, like, setting up the legendary, you know, cryogenic plants where I'm going to need some huge steady supply. A few... A few will do me just fine. So that's that's the reason I'm not worrying too much about it. Now, has heat reached the end of this pipe? If yes, how much? Oh yeah, we're at 160 over here. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, so then we'll hook this up. Oh my god, we're at an hour and a half for this recorded episode. Um, we're gonna need to call it an episode then, aren't we? <laughs> that is kind of absurd, isn't it? Well, for those of you from future recorded YouTube, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments about the cold planet, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.